Hi guys and welcome to Tech Based. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to create custom widgets for Windows 11 or how you can add custom widgets to the Windows 11 screen. As you all know, in Windows 11, we have the new widget section, but this section is pretty limited. We have a set number of widgets from where we can choose from. And also you cannot move these widgets outside of this section. So you can only use the widgets here. You have to click this button and then you have access to the widgets. But in this video, I'm Going to show you an app that is called B Widgets, and this is an app that can help you create your personalized and fully customizable modern widgets on your desktop. So this app is a Microsoft Store app. You can search it on your Microsoft Store, or you can click on the link down below in the article from the description, and then click on Get, click on Open, and Microsoft Store will automatically be opened up, and we will see how we can use this app in order to create personalized and fully customizable widgets in Windows 11. So just click on get to install the app. And after the app is installed, just click on open. This is the app interface. You have the options to create a new widgets. You have the option layouts, which you can use to create a layout from current widgets that you have in Windows 11. And also you have the settings menu where you have preferences, a few options, for example, run on startup. If you want your widgets to automatically run on startup, you have appearance in which you can set a few things. And of course, as you can see, we have dark theme for this application and also the about section where you can see more info about the app. So let's click on new widget and here we're going to create our first widget. So for example, let's name this widget clock. And as you can see, you have a few options based on the options that you have on Windows 11 right now. And you can even click on customize to customize the appearance of this widget. So for example, I do not like the font size. I want the font size to be bigger and maybe a bold format, for example, something like that. And let's make it bigger so we can see it better. And of course you can customize everything that you want. You have options like always on top, unclickable, show seconds, for example, this is also interesting. So for that, we're gonna need to decrease a bit the size. And also you can set a 12 hour format if you want. This is actually pretty, pretty nice. This is how you want to customize it. So let's just exit out from here and we have our widget. As you can see, we can move it around where we want. We can have it on our desktop. As you saw, we can set it to be always on top. And um, this is really interesting. Let's add another widget, for example, new widget. And this time let's um, add uh, weather, for example. Again, I'm gonna name this widget weather and then I'm gonna click on customize to see what we can do in order to customize this. First of all, let's set the city because we don't want the city um, Prague. Let's set here Bucharest and then click on add. Okay. Of course, it will check for your city to see if it's valid or not. We have forecast settings. For example, we can increase the weather icon size and unit and Europe use Celsius, so that is okay. And here on appearance, you can customize everything from the background color to the temperature text, to the city text, and to the weather description text. So this is really, really nice and really customizable. And I really, really like it. Again, we can move it where we, where we want. Let's create another widget and the final one so that you can see how easily you can customize this. So for example, let's add a one date and I'm gonna name it date. But as you can see, you have other options. For example, you can add a photos widget, app shortcut finances and stuff like that. Let's click on customize. Let's scroll down and change the date text and put it to be bold. And let's change the size a bit. For example, 55. This is cool. And now we can move this as well. Of course, as you saw, you can fully customize the background. If you want, you can add no background. For example, let's change the background to the date widget. You can click on this icon transparent. And as you can see, it is fully transparent. But I think I like more the dark themed widgets in Windows 11. I think this is really, really cool. Now, if you want to use the layouts tab, you can create layouts from current widgets. So for example, if you created some widgets, you can create a layout from the current state of your widgets that you created in Windows 11. And after that, you can do other layouts and save them here. And later on, you can just go and click on select layout to come back to a certain widgets layout in Windows 11. So this is the B widgets app in Windows 11. Don't forget that the download link in the 
the, is in the article down below in the description. I think this is a really cool app that lets you personalize and customize the widgets in Windows 11. If the video is useful, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Let me know down below in the comments if you will use this app or if you've used this already, what is the most interesting thing that you found about this app? I was Emmanuel from Tech Based. Until next time, have a nice day.